The treasure was captured with the castle by the O'Dempseys and carefully guarded them for over a hundred years. When Fitzgerald lay siege to Lee Castle, the head of the O'Dempseys clan, before surrounding the castle, placed all the treasure in a large cauldron and had it taken Lee secretly to the river bank and buried in a deep pool in the river. He commanded a swordfish to guard the treasure until Ireland was free from shore to shore and then to assist one of his descendants to recover it and restore it to the church. The Banshee is said to be a being that attacks the families in Ireland and is said always to appear to announce the death of a member of that family to which she belongs. So he always comes at night, a short time previous to the death, and stands outside near the house and cries out in some unknown language. Long ago there lived a woman named Mary Hannigan. She was nicknamed Petticoat Loose. She got her nickname after one night out drinking and dancing when her petticoat got caught in a nail and came undone. She was a farmer's wife. She would kill children before they were baptised so they wouldn't be sent to heaven after death. When she died, she was damned. Sometime after her death, she used to appear at a certain sun every night. One night, a boy was going home. He had to pass by the stone and so he saw the woman. He was terrified and ran back part of the way he had come to the priest's house. The boy told the priest the whole story. The priest accompanied the boy to the stone. Vi far aun ur awan, vi she in a coni id nun vyog, ein la vi she eg ober eram porta, tar esha diner hit she a kudla, nur a vi she in a kudla, hane kirog agus kuig she is stocked in a volig, vi pin vor aget agus ni feder lesh eha, dort feder lesh salen a eha agus gan ein juk a all er fa tri la tar eis tri la cuig se gdi awen agus dan se awen er fa cup la ur tar eis tamal hanig an kirog agus ni kien oiga amok eg all an ishka an awen vi ahis mor er an far an chin agus cuig se a walia e gaira shin e an fa a derter nur a in dinna alon go vil kirog ishtokt awen the Mananangal is well known for its strong desire for blood, especially pregnant women and babies. Its sharp pointed tongue pierces the flesh of its victims, sucking blood from them. Pregnant women are its main target because it is said that their blood contains the vital energy required for the Mananangal to survive. The Child of Prague the Child of Prague is a statue of a young Jesus. If there was a wedding or a special event the next day, people would put a statue of the Child of Prague in their garden or put it on their windowsill to ensure good weather for the day of the event. Cracks in the pavement. It was said that if you stepped on the cracks in the pavement, you were stepping on the roof of hell. A stormy night. On a stormy night with thunder and lightning, it was said to put all cutlery away as people thought the lightning would strike the silver on the table. It is said that on the white hill of Galen for Ban, Offley, during the penal times there lived a priest. He lived in a cave in a hill and said mass at the place where Judges Bridge, Valley Shiel, Clahan, Offley now is. One morning he was coming home after saying mass and a spy saw him and followed him to the white hill. The hill was covered with blackthorn trees and to mark where the priest entered, the spy put a white tag on the nearest tree to the cave and went back to tell the soldiers. When the spy and the soldiers came back, there was a white tag on every tree and they never found the cave or the priest. The Jeannie Johnson. During the famine years, many Irish families had to flee Ireland on ships for a better life in America. These ships were called famine ships and could take six weeks to travel across the Atlantic. These ships used to bring cargo from America, like timber, and then passengers back on the return journey. One of these ships was called the Jeannie Johnson and it transported over 2,500 passengers to America but did not lose one passenger or crew member. The owner of the Jeannie Johnson made sure that the ship had a good captain and also a doctor on board, which was rare for these ships. They used basic safety protocols like daily shaking of their blankets over the side of the ship to get rid of germs and bed bugs. In fact, during one voyage, a passenger gave birth to a boy and named her son after every crew member on the ship to show her gratitude. A tale is told of a spirit that was said to wander around Corrig Wood, which is situated half a mile outside the town of Port Harrington. This spirit, which assumed the person of a black man, appeared at night and so frightened the horses that they ran away, overturned cars and killed people. Finally, no one dared to venture near the Corrig after that. Baba Yaga is an ancient figure from Slavic folklore that appears throughout various fairy tales and legends. 
She is often described as an old woman who lives in the woods. Her wooden house is on enormous chicken-like legs and surrounded by a fence made of skulls. Parents threaten their children to not go far from their house or else Baba Yaga will get them and eat them. Parents nowadays still use this fairy tale to discipline their children. The leprechaun is about nine inches in height. He dresses in a green suit and a red cap. He wears long pointed toed shoes. He lives in Rath. He is a shoemaker. No people in the district ever caught him. They are not looked on as friendly people. They have never helped any human being. They have done harm to them. One day my father was ploughing in the field. There were two blackhorn brushes growing there. He ploughed up the bushes and threw them away. He went into his dinner at 12 o'clock and when he came out the two horses were dead.